Fly! 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 Oh. This demo features several chapters of Final Fantasy XVI's first act. All saved progress can be carried over to the main game. That's nice. That's I, very nice. I appreciate that. We hope you enjoy your time in Valisthea. Okay. Preemptive. Going to give you the heads up. Some people are doing some construction nearby. You might hear it. All right. Brightness looks okay. Subtitles on. Thank you so much for the not cold open. I really appreciate That's the fact cool. that we hit it and it doesn't just start with a rainy horseback cutscene. <laughs> Duh, Square Enix presents, you know, uh, uh, the, what's the creative business unit team logo floating over an ocean or whatever, you know, like just give me a chance to set the fucking settings, man. Um, all right. So, yes, yes, yes. Uh, we can prioritize graphics or frame rate. I would love to prioritize frame rate because uh, I love the idea of a consistent 60 more than the visual integrity. However, I have heard that there is problems. It was not ideally uh, optimized compared to the graphics mode. So that oh. sucks. Graphics stays locked yeah. at a 30. That works. Um, whereas 60 will sometimes dip to 40 and be inconsistent and cause other mm -hmm. issues, unfortunately. So we're going to keep it there. Um, alerts. On screen waveform that provides visual representation ooh. of in game sounds and music. Ooh. Look That's at cool. that. Look at that. There's a little cool. waveform on the side. That's a nice little interesting thing. Huh. Okay. Oh, the thing on the bottom? The, the left yeah. and right of the screen there? You see the left and right of the screen? Yeah, Very yeah. subtle little green popping up. It's an, an accessibility option to just let you know that, like, sound is playing. Story focused. Begin the game equipped with several accessories to simplify gameplay. Recommended for those that are less comfortable with action games and wish to focus on the game story elements or action. Gotta let it out. Gotta let it out. Gotta let it out. Gotta let it out. Move fast, baby. Don't be slow. Step aside, reload, time to go. All right, I think I can do that. <laughs> That's, that'll that'll wow, do. Bars. You must select a gameplay mode. Does not affect story content. Ah, so story focus does not change. Action focus does not change story. Story focus changes action. But just because you pick this one doesn't mean you're not getting your story. And... Confirm. It was Moss the Chronicler who said Moss that the land of Valisthea is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. Valisthea. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. <laughs> CBU3. That's a hype name. What they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow, and thus did yeah. our journey begin. It's not quite like Team Red, right? Or Team Blue, but yeah, flying creatures. Oh, are we back? So do you remember the reveals of the icons? Basically, fucking summon titans. Mm -hmm. So no K-pop car this time. Perhaps not. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, no, not at all. A road trip is a fine concept. That'd be fun. Gas stations can be fun. Wee! But right here we got Malthus. Fireball! And Gamora going at it. Damn. This is some... Like, I've said it... Some Gandalf falling with the Balrog shit. Yeah, yeah. I've said it many times, but it's like... Final Fantasy is quickly becoming not what Final Fantasy mm -hmm. usually is. Or has been over the last couple years. And it's becoming some other shit. And it's shit that I think is dope. <laughs> Whoa. 
so I I cannot complain that it is it is a hype action game. Dude! <laughs> this is Gandalf and the Bowser. It really is. <laughs> Alright. Get mad. Get mad, dragon. Are we cooking? Campfire transition! Kaiju battles. Hype as fuck. Year of the Realm 873. The Nisa Defile. The Dalmekian Republic. I remember my first sick kaiju battle. <laughs> Yoshitaka Amano. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? You can't have a dominant without a submissive. The girl you know? among them. Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. I need a top dragon. Try to keep that bottom dragon. Let's get this done. All right. Just keep it under control. Be a good, be a good dragon. All right. Okay. <laughs> Not the other kinds. Into the light. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. So we got a bunch of legends said, working focus, on this? Mm-hmm. Right there, sir. Just thinking about in another world where I looked more like a K-pop star. <laughs> The real shiny weapon that no one's ever seen before and crazy hair. What could have been? <laughs> Instead of a real dude who probably has some real problems, you know? Well, he looks like he has problems. You see that stare into the flames? Jeez. All right. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong with uh, K pop star adventures, but I, I do appreciate what this game's art style is doing. Um, yeah. All right. Press start. Uh -huh. Gameplay. Thank you very much. We don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. All right. And the touchpad is the lore button. Whoa. Active time lore. It literally is the lore button. Hold it to access the active time lore feature. Compilation of important <laughs> Yo, active information. Active time battle. Active, active time, time events. Lore. Active time lore. Yo, ATL. Let's go. Represent. Important info above the lives, law. current storyline progression, and it can be viewed during most cutscenes. All ATL entries can be accessed later in the game. Okay, so during ATL a cutscene, you can press that and get more info. Get more info. What happens to the cutscene? Uh, hopefully, it pauses. <laughs> right. You know what else? Gate. You know what other game does this? Kirby. Paya. Wow. Sakurai, the trendsetter, the trailblazer. All right, the Nisa Defile, a deep uh, arid valley located in the eastern part of the Dalmekian Republic during the Battle of the Twin Realms of 1860, uh, 1865, 865. It's the site of the repeated skirmishes. Uh, the Iron Kingdom attempted to make incursions into the Dalmekian territory. 
the brand. brand. The mark applied to the cheeks of bearers, identifying them as something other than human. The great nations of Valistea have a long-standing accord to brand their bearers in this way, that the slaves might be traded across borders. Ooh. Okay. Right, right, right. Okay. So, not human, Clive. My boy. That being said, like, even though it's one of those derogatory markers, it just happens to look rad as shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh no, the, I'm okay with the, the insulting brand uh, that is on me looks super cool. Cool subhumans. Let's <laughs> yeah. go. Yeah. Your slave marker is awesome. Damn. The bastards. You know? I mean, look, man. If you're going to fucking be a piece of evil shit that tattoos numbers on me, at least use Make a nice cool. use, use nice font, you know? Helvetica? <laughs> <laughs> Not Garamond. All right. Come on. All right. The Bastards, a unit trained assassin of trained assassins deployed to the Nisa Defile, uh, deep within Dalmakian territory, the task with the elimination of the enemy dominant. All right, Clive. Taking your sweet time. Time to move. <gasps> to gently to walk, fully to run. X to jump. Oh, full action adventure. Full action adventure. Just in time. Whoa. Actual battle war scene. Mm -hmm. The Republican Army front lines. Republicans going to war. What? Okay. They would never. I'm just. I'm like. I'm scouting the weapons. Battle chocobos. Yeah. Oh, that was bloody. Okay. That. Yeet. On my signal. The magic trebuchet. <laughs> There you go. I'm reminded of the intro to Lost Odyssey for a second. These are blood of a beast, the man. Catapult, catapult, not trebuchet. This is going. They won't need this new dominant of theirs. What? Oh, theme song. Oh, what are you looking at? The Zenit Zen Zernitra stronghold. What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? Oh, pretty boy. Yo, come now, Marshal. The King of Walud is our guest. Give me this Game of Thrones shit. Politics and yelling in rooms. <laughs> I'm super down. <laughs> and you have his majesty's answer. <sighs> Cup bearer? No? Okay. Yeah! No? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> like, that's it! <laughs> that's it. Give me that Game of Thrones shit, baby! <laughs> Damn, what's in the pipe? You know what's in that pipe. Nobody knows what's in that pipe. <laughs> I wonder that you summoned us at all. Some chocobo kush. Have you so little faith Dice all greens, baby. Dice all greens. <laughs> it was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides, your dominant has yet to take the field. Is that the dom? And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? 
Should this citadel be allowed to fall? Oh shit. <laughs> Yo. I exposed. Got a cigar too? And I doubt the crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Rolling up the swisher sweets? <laughs> Do you feel powerful? Bro, he's dominant. <laughs> Which just leaves me. For you. Kupka! The iron blood will rule the day they set foot on storm. This game is over. Also be wawadi da. Yeah, that's that's your fucking Clegane. You cock. <laughs> Benedict. <laughs> now Talia's six foot one. <laughs> Does the Everyone else is five ten. The hair? What do you think me one of the latter? Damn. No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. <laughs> I'm not mm. afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> Man. You lose HP. The next morning. <laughs> that shit. This is our chance. Yo. The chaos will Quake. <laughs> Late checkout <laughs> after the inn. <laughs> See that innkeeper? Gonna, like, I gonna need, need more hours. Gonna bro. need a couple potions, maybe even a Phoenix down. <laughs> I'm not used to people getting that close in my Final Fantasies, though. Mm hmm I appreciate it. You know? To be fair, my last one and ongoing is 9, so... Yeah. No, once upon a time, I remember in the 90s when, like, the thing in every... The thing in games and anime was, like, two people like each other... Forever! They, they just kind of stand in front of each other and smile. Forever! And be like... Mm. You know, I forgot what I was watching where someone was like, I'm so happy to see you. And they ran up to each other and then they just stood there and just smiled. And I was like, what the, what the, f can you hug, please? <laughs> and it's like, no, that's weird. They don't, they don't do that. That's cool looking. And let's hit that button for a second to see if, uh. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Let's see. So I guess the ones with the blue dot are new, new. and red. Yeah. Uh, the Iron Crusade, the fighting forces of the Iron Kingdom. Ultimate command rests with the king, who issues orders directly to the commanders of each of his battalions. Iron Blood soldiers generally prefer heavy clubs and great axes over swords and other lighter weapons. This rather brutal approach is indicative of their overall, at overall attitude, which has earned them a reputation on the continent as savage, if somewhat primitive warriors. No, ultimate command rests with the dominant. Or anyone over six foot. <laughs> that's that's who decides the fate of our pl of our world. The men of the fist, Dalmechia's standing army, while officially an organ of the republic, each has its each of its five states is granted relative autonomy with regard to the management of the troops of its troops. Aside from certain specialized squads, battle deployments are mostly comprised of small units employing a mixture of foot soldiers and battle mages. The former are known and feared for their curved swords and prodigious axes and the deadly skill with which they wield them. Yeah. Uh, let me just quickly as well take a look at what's happening on uh, the pause screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. System. Thank you. So. Uh, oh. Oh. Huh. That's, That's a little, little mouse cursor. Yeah. I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, okay, so you go straight to your system options and or button control over here. Um, and then I imagine... 
Oh, no, there's no, uh, well, maybe not yet. There's no, like, in-game pause menu. Uh, yeah. Show me some of those swords. Show me those fucking clubs and curved swords to, to, to choose from. Hopefully. Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. Oh my. That's a hand. Oh, that's a head. Titan. Cruel reminder. So the Darmax finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Ha! <laughs> and look who's here to greet the bastard. Okay, sing to me. Come on. What is that? Is that Shiva? What's going on? I don't know, but I want my 3D maneuver gear immediately. Again. Let's go. God damn, music! Too cool. Yeah. <laughs> Just infinite, infinite money to make it fucking actually use the word use of the word epic, you know? Like the proper use of epic, not the not the dumb fucking <laughs> early two thousand epic Yeah. Epic meal time. Okay, 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 we gotta fight. Gladius! Gotta fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can't deal with the projectiles, we have to go in. Gotta go in. Stomp. Oh, there's chocobos down there. <laughs> yes, yeah, the chocobos. Quah! No chocobos were harmed. During the production, all the chocobos were armed, bro. <laughs> you don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move, Wyvern. Oh boy. Up, 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 up. Careful, Clive. No. You gotta keep moving. You can't spell Clive without live. I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> oh yeah, yeah, okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> yeah, camera, please point towards the action. Make sure, uh, there's none of that hit the, hit the stick to, to not miss it. Nice climbing skills. There might be a bunch of that, actually. Sovereign's taken off. Look over there. <laughs> well, clearly we won't. Clive, gotta move on! Rolling landing, or... Yeah! Nah. Oh, no, that was... We slide. Cool. Oh, not playable downhill downhill jam section. I always like a little, Go you know, right. a little, yeah, yeah. Biast got squashed. Sure. Wyvern. Wyvern. Uh oh. I told you before, you do not get to die here. I don't. Don't call a duty, yes. Brother. Mm hmm. 
Oh, paste. And it wasn't even, like, cross-shaped like Caesar, you know? Thirteen, Thirteen summers earlier. Okay. Rosalind. Grand Duchy of Rosaria. Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stable. <laughs> Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. <laughs> I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. Aww. Ah, yes. The hairstyle of my dreams to be a K-pop star. <laughs> Foppish little no brand swoosh. Yet. And a cool weapon no one's ever heard of. My future looks bright. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Attack the Lord Commander. Execute a four swing combo. Press square to perform a melee attack. Up to four attacks can be chained together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The basics. Yeah, can I just go right into a high times? How are we doing this? Good. Again. How's the delay? Keep up the pressure. Okay. Not bad at Very all. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Damn. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. These phoenix ashes are divine. Channel your inner flame. Okay. Press triangle to cast fire, a ranged spell that can strike enemies from great distances. The lab is open. No, not yet. <laughs> uh, I'll relax. I'll relax. <laughs> Coming. Whoa. Whoa. Pew pew pew. Excellent. Pew pew fireball. Well done. You wield the firebird's flames just as a first shield should. Mm. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough. To all right, That's defensive true. mechanics. Don't Let's get go. hit. Don't get hit. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Clive Rossfield. Stay quick on your feet. Evade four times with R one. Mm hmm. Evading an attack at the precise moment it is dealt will temporarily slow the enemy. Making it more susceptible to a counter using square or triangle. <sighs> ah, good glad, mechanics, huh? Glad, glad to see the world is on is all on the same page now. <laughs> Once upon a time, it was it was only a couple places, mm -hmm. but now everybody gets it. <laughs> everybody gets it. Let's go. Don't simply watch my movements. Read them. <laughs> Precision dodge. Alright. Nice try. Can you get a counter in there? How did you dodge that? I'm sure I had you. Into fire? That was amazing. Come on. Oh. Good. I'm pressing the lads and lasses. Your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. Yes. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on you. Well, I'm waiting. Close the gap. 
execute a phoenix shift three times. Blessing of the phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix shift is one such iconic feat. Press circle to swiftly close in on a distant target. Trick. Both melee and ranged attack magic can be used while executing a phoenix shift. In the middle of it, buffer up your next attack. Okay. So, uh, let me just see something real quick. Are you not blessed by the phoenix? Then prove it. Mm. So yeah, yeah. Impressive. You can go one into the other a little bit. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Right. Now that can't be free. Speaking I have to take which, a look back Lord, at the HUD. You seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. If it is, then... Uh, wow. Consumables such as potions and tonics can be used to restore Clyde's HP or temporarily boost attributes. Okay. Uh huh. It is free. That's uh, great. Okay, so well, that means we're in. For, okay, if you can teleport for free uh, anytime you want, that means we're in, some shit is gonna be fighting you. Yeah, it has to be challenging. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. So, all right, it's like cool. Okay, that's your yeah. kit. Mm -hmm. All right. You can assign consumables to D-pad up, right, and down via the items tab in the main menu for quick and convenient use, and you can also use them from the menu. Mm -hmm. Attributes tab. Okay, Level status go. abilities and gear. This is where you do your thing. Uh, yeah, okay. So we got HP. Okay. Attack. Strength. Combination of physical attitude and gear quality. Higher the total value, the more damage dealt per attack. Defense. Physical uh, attitude and gear quality as well. Yep. Stagger. To the overwhelm an opponent is determined via a combination of mental aptitude, will, will, and gear quality. You can knock down targets easily with a okay. higher total value. And then the associated stat. Strength affects power, vitality for defense, yeah. and will for stagger ability. Yeah, okay. So di directly linked, I guess. Okay. Uh huh. And then uh, we can get up to three accessories on. Cool. Okay. Uh, right. So they're trying to show us the healing. Mm -hmm. All non-gear items currently in Clive's possession. Mm -hmm. Items can be assigned to the shortcuts. Select an item from the consumables list. Press square. To bring up the shortcut window after confirming the button is assigned to up, left, right, or down. Okay. Uh, potion and high potion automatically assigned to up and right. Shield Ensign. Brazen seal received by all Ducal shields upon completion of their accolade. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and the shield. And shield the firebirds, flames forevermore. Ducal shield oath. It's a curiosity. So we are a consumables, shield. materials, and curiosities. I guess like key items is uh, mm -hmm. maybe a possibility. You know, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use potions. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory, or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Huzzah! Practice. It's time for the test. Oh. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. I wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. 
If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Can we do our game faces versus screen? <laughs> <laughs> Make proof of your strength. Have at me. Final lesson. Defeat the Lord Commander. The will gauge indicates the opponent's will to fight back. Break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they're vulnerable. Break the will. Ah, so that's your little, like, under underlife stamina kind of thing. Oh, no! Evade. Precision dodge. Going in there. Let's go. You're going down, Murdoch. Ow! Spank your ass. <laughs> Staggered. Staggering your enemies. His Lord will has Murdoch's been broken. Has been broken, leaving him. St <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as you can uh, before he regains his senses. Use R2 plus square to execute Rising Flames. Powerful iconic ability granted Clive by the Blessing of the Phoenix. Okay. Yeah! Always up. Stagger damage. Oh, it tells you. Two star combo. Air dodge. You can do it in the air. Okay, that's that's fair. Training complete. Yep. Yeah. You got an air dodge. How you like that, Murdoch? Shoutouts to the little fanfare. Bested at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You oh. are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Yes, if, the, if this were Game of Thrones, there'd be another kid who's like faces in the shit right now, who's basically just a villain in brooding. <laughs> who's just like, oh, my sword and training was embarrassing. I'm not cut out for this. I'm going to slink into the shadows and kill everyone you love in about 10 years. Joshua. I was just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, that's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. Don't waste your MP, J Dog. His grace has returned. Father's back. Father's alive. <laughs> Your Grace, please, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. My darling Gentlemen, boy. Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. That's a fucking $10,000 word. We live to serve. <laughs> Gotta look that up after. Cannot be tired. Joshua. That's what it sounds like. Fatigue is the root, but... If that's God. Of doors. We have discussed this. Well, I know you English. You I'm like sorry. to put inflammable, uninflammable. Well, you figure it out. <laughs> Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Anti-constitutionnellement. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Yeah. Not you. Not the right hair color. Murdoch. Your grace. Also very Game of Thrones. Oops. 
Goodbye, bastard brother. <laughs> what a way to treat your own. F <gasps> yeah! Wow. Right there. It's like watching something on Crave. In the middle of the fucking. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Pause this cutscene for a quick trip to Atlanta. <laughs> If you, if you're like, like, yeah, like I'm super down with that. If you hate words and talking and not things happening, then I, I, I could see you be like, fuck. But that's great. Little context button. Let's go. Uh, situated in the heart of the Ducal capital of Rosalind, it's uh, from this towering every fact, uh, fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation. The architectural feat the founder himself would be proud of. The castle has stood since the early days of the duchy and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. Mm -hmm. Clive Rossfield, firstborn son of Archduke Elwyn, ruler of Rosaria. From a young age, Clive dedicated himself to mastering the blade, and his practice paid off when he was appointed first shield of Rosaria, tasked to guard the phoenix and blessed with the ability to wield a part of his fire. Yeah. What your FF protagonist is supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, before the bullshit. That's your box art kid right there. That's your fucking tired, grumpy. Uh, Rodney, Rodney Murdoch, Lord Commander of the Rosadian Army. Not only is he a skilled warrior and loyal guardian of the Rossfield household, he's also a fine tutor, indeed. It was he who trained Clive in the secrets of swordplay. While he may be a hard taskmaster, his belief and trust in the shield that serve under him make him a much-loved leader. Joshua Rossfield, J -Dog. the second son of the Archduke of Rosaria, Joshua was appointed heir to the Ducal throne by virtue of his awakening as the dominant of the Phoenix. His love and admiration for his elder brother Clive is absolute, and he is only too proud to have him serve as his first shield. His love for carrots, less so. Yeah. Fuck little... carrots. <laughs> Not great, but that's okay. Joe Rowe's got, he's got Cura. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. So treat him nice. He's probably got life. Treat him nice. You know? You're going to need white wind. Mm -hmm. Annabella Rossfield, Duchess of Rosaria, wife of Archduke Elwyn and mother of Clive and Joshua. While she adores her younger son, she treats Clive and Jill with naught but thinly veiled contempt. Yeah, we got that. Yep. Mm -hmm. All it took was one. Jill. Jill Warwick. Born a princess of the Northern Territories. Oh, Jill was made a ward of Rosaria after her homeland's incessant raids were quelled by the duchy. Uh, she was raised in Rosalith Castle alongside Clive and Joshua, who came to love her as a sister. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so Northern Canada. Hello, Jill. Okay. Yeah. The I, I feel like... Uh, I mean, again, to hit on it, the Game of Thrones, like, wards was a thing that I, I didn't really fully understand until that was a concept uh, uh, there as well, where it's just like, all right, we're friendly territories, so I'm going to just kidnap your kid, but it's going to be very pleasant. They'll grow up with my kids, and in turn, that'll be like a loyalty sign, but really it's also a sign of like, you know, like, we're homies. Mm -hmm. And so your kid kind of thinks of me as like almost a parent. I see. But really, I'm a glorified hostage. But it's cool, though, because he likes it and they're friends. Yeah, we're down. We're down with it. You know? Cool. It's cool. And when he turns of age, he's not totally going to go back to his stronghold and raise his army and roll through and his old back. hometown yep. and, yeah, take it out on us or anything. It's good Shut times. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. 